Hey guys, I only have a little bit of time before I go to Emerald City Comic Con. Not enough time to review a movie, but enough time to give you my thoughts on bald Jesse Eisenberg, because that was the onslaught on my Twitter when it was revealed. By onslaught, I mean fucking onslaught. Because it was revealed and people were like, I told you he's gonna be awesome, look at him, he looks awesome, he's awesome. And you know what, you don't know, tell me awesome. These are my thoughts on it, because it's interesting enough, it's, it's a picture. Is it enough to sell me on Jesse Eisenberg being Lex Luthor? No. It's a dude scowling, looking sinister in a black and white picture. Anyone's going to seem perfect for a villainous role at that point. Point. Maybe I'm being an asshole, maybe I'm being too tough, but I'm just saying it's just a picture. Now granted, what's brought me over to the side of Batflick being possibly a good Batman is primarily pictures. You see pictures like that, and I'm like, that is Batman. Difference is, I, that looks like Batman. Doesn't look like Ben Affleck at all. It's like a transformation there. Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor picture looks exactly how I thought Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor would look. He looks like bald Jesse Eisenberg. There's no shock there. When I said I think it's the wrong casting having Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, in my head I had that exact picture. Or maybe not exact, because he has a pretty good scowl and the bald head does make him age a bit. Yeah, he actually does look 30. He doesn't look 16. At this point, I can only describe it like this. It's like, you see that picture, you're like, cool. But I know how Jesse Eisenberg sounds and Jesse Eisenberg's voice does not match the picture. I will say this, he could pull it off for sure, but he's going to have to be something we've never seen him be before, which is a voice actor. I ain't talking about Rio because he was still Jesse Eisenberg in Rio. He'll need to change his voice. He'll need to do something different than Jesse Eisenberg voice. If he looks like that and he's still throwing out first rule of magic, always be the smartest guy in the room. I'm just not gonna buy it. I'm gonna be like, you're Jesse Eisenberg with a bald head. Maybe we can, maybe that's gonna be the compromise we make for people who are like, no, he's perfect. And people like me who are like, no, he's not. It's like, yeah, he looks fine if he has a different voice. Can we agree on that shit? Because otherwise they're doing the social network guy as Lex Luthor and I just don't want to see that. Keep in mind these are the casting people who made Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. I think that's stupid too. So I give you my thoughts on this because a lot of people on Twitter wanted to hear my thoughts on this. So at that point, I give it to you guys. Jesse Eisenberg's picture as Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor or bald Jesse Eisenberg? What do you think it looks like? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.